Hello, and I'm Luz Cocina, CEO at Micolab in Spain. And we have clients who send us roots from all over the world in order to analyze the mycorrhizal levels of the plantations. So what we are going to show you now is how we want you to sample the trees, okay? So before you do this, you will have a phone call. Well, somehow you'll get in touch with me. I'll ask you for a video of your plantation and we'll decide which trees are we randomly more or less choose in order to get a picture of what we want to know about the plantation. Once that is done, then you will come to the plantation to do what I'm going to show you now. Okay, so we're going to start now. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to label the bag and label the tree so that we can localize the tree with the sample I'm going to do. So when we have the analysis results, we know to which tree they correspond and then we can see if we have to do some, you know, like monitoring of the tree later or if we know that tree is in trouble, where it is, if there is a reason for the results we are getting. So this would be tree number one of our analysis. It is important to label it at the bottom. So when you make a knot here, I will still see the label and it's easier for us to organize the samples in the lab in order to do the extraction. For example, this plantation belongs to a client which initials are R, M, and this is tree number one. That's good enough for us, okay? We recommend you to use some, um, you know, freezing bags from the supermarket. They are, you know, sterilized and they are more or less robust so they can be used easily. Okay, so now we are going to label the tree and of course we are not going to put the initials from our client because he already knows that's his plantation so we just no need to mark the tree. So this is tree number one so we are just going to mark it with a number one. Okay? Okay. Just remember to use a spray you know that is a uh, weather resistant you know that is not is for outside use okay outdoor use that's important because we need it to last for at least two years because normally we do monitoring every two years so we don't want to have to come all the time to repaint them or have the client come so we'll just do it like that okay okay so now we're going to look for fine roots you know like thin roots those are the ones that have the mycorrhiza and those are the ones i need for the lab in order to analyze and, and have an idea of what the mycorrhiza in your trees are. So we normally start, if you don't find them, you can go further inside, but we'll start more or less where the crown finishes, you know? So here, more or less, we'll start digging. And we will dig until we find the fine roots, and when we start seeing them, then we will, we will go down to collect them, okay? So first, we dig. Okay, so here we are, you see, we have some mycorrhiza there on the sides and a fine root here, but most of the mycorrhiza are broken in the soil that I just dug. So now you have to find something that you can dig with and that is comfortable for you. We use just a truffle knife, but maybe you don't have them in your area, so just find a little shuffle thing, something that you can use. We have our bag. Here we have a more or less fine root, so what I'm going to do is just dig it out with all the soil around it because I know there are many, many little roots coming out of that root. You see? So I don't even need this because this has almost nothing. But the soil where it is, that is very interesting for me, okay? Now I'm going to dig around a little bit more to see what I can find. Sometimes you open it and you see roots on it. If the tree is very old, we will go to the other side of the tree because mycorrhiza change around the tree. So we will go to the other side of the tree and make another hole and mix them both to get a better picture of the mycorrhiza in the tree or the mycorrhiza variety, okay? 
Okay, so now we have the sample and I always say that you have to put about like between half a liter and a third of a liter of soil with roots. A third of a liter would be more or less like a soda can, you know, like a Coca-Cola can or something like that. So, so you have an idea, this would be more like half a liter of soil sample. So the label is here and the tree is labeled too. It's very important so we can afterwards know, okay, which, which sample and which analysis and which results belong to which tree, okay? Then we just make a knot and make sure please that the label is not on the knot. So then when they get to the lab, we can organize them without having to open the knot, okay? And that's it. Now we just cover the hole we made and we go to the following tree. Mm-hmm.